How's it going guys? I'm Manny the Phenom of Phenom Studios, here to check in with you guys on week one of Schoolism. Um, I've completed week one, um, and I'm going to tell you how I went. So, so the first thing I did is pay for the yearly membership, and they have many courses from, amaz from uh, many amazing artists, and I had to go through which one would be the right one for me to take first, which course. And I was reading through them, and um, there's a lot of interesting ones that I'm definitely going to take, but I had to find one for beginners, because that's, that's what I need. So the first one I found was Drawing Fundamentals with Thomas Fluharty. And what's great about all these artists is that Bobby Chu, who's the mastermind behind all this, who made this, he's an artist and he made, made Schoolism, he has interviews with all these artists. Uh, hour, hour long in, uh, interviews with all these artists, and plus more um, artists that who aren't teachers on the on this website but you know you can learn about these artists through his interviews or just um, find other videos of them but um, yeah every, every artist is talented but uh, I had to start with drawing fundamentals first off in this course there's five lessons um, you can go on the site and they go over a brief description of what the lessons are so with with this one fundament, drawing fundamentals uh, the first lesson is power, the power of seeing the power of values the power of perspective, then you have the power of composition, and the fifth lesson is the power of gesture. So uh, he just he briefly goes over everything. Um, you know he doesn't go he doesn't go into extreme detail. Uh, in some in some parts he does. You know depending on the importance of it. And but this is specifically for beginners. So the first thing we did was a value scale. I don't know if you can see it because because the, the light Ugh, stupid light. But we had to do like a a scale. Let me see, like, eh, like zero from ten, zero being like the white of the paper, the, the black of your, as dark as a pencil can get. So I had to do that a few times. I don't know if you, oh, Eric, come on. I had to do it one, wait, one, two, three, four, five. I did it five different times um, because it wasn't coming out right. Um, did it six times. Even the sixth time wasn't perfect, but it's slowly starting to get there. The thing you have to realize is, man, this stuff takes practice. Like, you listen to a lesson, and then you, like, go to the assignment, you're thinking, all right, boom, I listened, I got it. All right, I saw him do it, it doesn't look that hard, and then you go and do it, like, okay, it looked easy when he was doing it, and then you go to do it, and your hand doesn't do what his hand does, your brain doesn't do, your eyes don't do what he was doing. So, it's just, it takes practice and experience, so... You have to be patient with it, you, you gotta let go of your ego of thinking that things are just gonna come out perfectly, you know? You gotta be okay with stuff looking like trash, but but you have to stick with it. And, you know, that's what I'm struggling with. I'm, I, I keep trying to remember that. Um, I'm only one week in, alright? So I've completed I've completed that course with Thomas Fluharty. Um, so we, he also went over doing making shapes, so let me see if I can get this to show. All right, so he had a frog, a real frog. This one looks like a cartoonish frog, but um, <sighs> you know, you you find a picture and then you find the shapes of it. So there's like a circle, and then you have, and then you have like circles for his eyes, and then you, have, you know, yeah, you, you like I I start I started putting details in after I found the basic shapes. So that's what that was like his first lesson is find the shapes. Of a drawing so look if you're gonna paint this paintbrush um, you know you don't start with every indi individual bristle you know you start with a rectangle you see a square here you see you can make this a long rectangle you know <clears throat> and then you slowly get into the details um, and also he, he went into value blocking out value and um, different levels of value. That that was the point of the value scale is finding the different levels of value. And then he, he gave us other pictures to 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 work on. I did a lion. I put I put um, actual the speed drawings of me doing the video of, of doing these drawings on Instagram. There's videos of the speed drawings of me doing the drawing on Instagram. Come on, baby, spit it out. So there's a statue of a lion. Of course you can't see it because apparently this camera sucks. Keep it together, man. Oh my god. Alright, there's a lion. What a piece of crap production this is. Uh I did the statue of an angel also on um Instagram. 
And um, that's cool. Someone uh, on Instagram gave me a comment giving me tips about value because they saw that I'm learning. So that was cool. And then, oh, he went into like 1.2 point, 2 point, 3 point perspective. That one confused me. I'm gonna have to look up separate videos on YouTube. You know, there's tons of videos about everything. So I'm gonna have to go and do some more studying on my on my, on my own, uh, figuring out her perspective. Cause I didn't fully grasp what he was saying. Like I understood one point and two point, but then he would give us like draw art artwork. And he was like, okay, find the three point perspective on this. And I'm like, uh, I can't find it. So I'm gonna have to learn more about that on my own time. And then uh, composition was another thing. Um, I don't know, making making something look look acceptable. If you have a piece of artwork, um, making things look even and uh, like to the eye, like like he was talking about, you know, the the rule the rule thirds how things should be fitting in certain spots and. If something's way off here and there's nothing over here, or if something's if something's over here and there's nothing over here, and it's like the weight of the drawings off, it doesn't look pleasant to the eye and it just looks off. So he's going over that. So he was going over the bare minimum. Um, it was definitely helpful. And you can tell how good he is and how masterful he is. Like cause he was doing drawings and like knocking them out and then then i tried doing the drawings on my own i'm like ah ew, this is hard but uh yeah that was the course so here's the deal though um i remember in the first vlog i was definitely motivated and pumped to start this thing and i still am it's just the the, the process of sitting and listening and, tr and learning is not particularly fun you know I don't, yeah, like I need to know these things and I know I need to, that's why I need to force myself to listen, but I, I don't necessarily want to know about three point perspective or, or blocking out shapes and, and stuff like it's not, that's not fun to practice and like, I want to be able to like right off the bat, draw awesome comics and stuff, but I can't. Um, now I don't know if what if all these courses I'm taking in this in schoolism is gonna help me with comics. Like, obviously, I know some things will, and I know some things won't. But it's good to have a overall knowledge of that, of everything. I think so. I'm just saying, it, it takes a lot to stick with something. It's not all fun and games. It's like you you want the results, but are you willing to work for them? So I've been having trouble staying focused, but I'm trying. I'm, I'm doing a lesson every day, one lesson per day. Uh, so um, Thomas Fluharty had five lessons in his course, so it took me five days to do it. And, and then I started um, with, with the next course, which I'll tell you more about uh, in the next vlog for week two, um, with, with which is with John Hardesty, but I'll go over him and what I learned with him. I'm um, right now going over his course, so I'm in the middle of it. So in the next vlog, I'll talk about his. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and sticking around. Uh, I'm going to keep doing this every week. So if you're interested, please subscribe and expect more of these videos and soon to be soon to be more drawing videos. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, Phenom out.